Shalom. Call Halal, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf of the you brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratiza. That is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And to what Yahweh Shai for putting the spirit on me to do this lesson. Now this lesson is going to be entitled, The Wicked Shall Be Visited and Come to Not. Okay, once again, the title to the lesson is, The Wicked Shall Be Visited and Come to Not. Okay, now, what we're going to do, we're going to start off here in the book of, uh, the book of Job, we're going to start in the book of Job, let's get that real quick, this is Job 9, Job chapter 9 and verse 24, it says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, he covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if not, where and who is he? So right now the curt the, the, the earth, you know, is given into the hands of the wicked. Alright? As the scriptures tell you in, in the book of Saint John, uh the Lord said, The prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me. So okay, you know, uh Saint John the seventh chapter verse and, and verse seven says, The world cannot hate you, but me hate it, because I testify of it that the works there are about evil. So I said that to say this, as the scriptures say. Okay, because these are the words of the Lord. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Now, you have people who do wickedly, okay, and you have wicked people among all nations, but you have a set set of people who are the wicked. They were, they were created to be the wicked for that very purpose. Okay, as you know, uh, what's that, uh, Matter of fact, let me get it real quick. And um, Proverbs chapter sixteen and um, verse four. God, it says, "The Lord had made all things for Himself; yea, even the wicked, for the day of evil." So, so the wicked was created for the day of evil, man. You see, but this is a race of people. All right, now. To prove that, let's go to the book of Malachi real quick. The book of Malachi. So we can find out who the wicked is. Okay, the book of uh, Malachi chapter 1 and verse 4. It says, whereas Edom, okay, so this is going to Edom, the Edomites. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, okay, but we, are, we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. So this is talking about Edom, okay, Esau, all right, the Edomites, all right. As a matter of fact, let me read up. I read up. Real quick, let me let me just read through it real quick. Malachi one, verse one. It says, "The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet you say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Said the Lord. Yet I have loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Okay. Whereas Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places." Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord have, the Lord hath indignation forever. So there you go. All right? That's who's the wicked. All right? Esau, Edom. According to the scriptures. 
You see? So, the wicked shall be visited and come to naught. All right, now let's go to the book of Psalms. All right? This is the book of Psalms. Uh, Psalms chapter 10. And I'll start at verse 4. It says, The wicked, through the pride of his consonants, will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all his thoughts, you see. He wicked, he ain't got no time to think about the Most High, man. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffed at them. Right, so this is how he behaved in the earth. He puffed at them. He had said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. As the scripture tells you in Psalms 49 and 11, that their inward thought is that their houses would last forever. Okay? And their houses to all generations, they call their lands after their own names, after they conquer these lands. It says that uh, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud under his tongue. is mischief and vanity. He sitted in the lurking places of the villages in the secret places, though he murdered the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. Yeah, because this man is a, is, a, is a cunning hunter. He's a fowler, man. You see? That's what he is. He's a fowler. You know? But uh, the scripture tell you, what's that? Psalms 124, how the scripture say, Blessed be the Lord, okay, who, 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 who have not given us as a prey, okay, when man rose up against us, you know, the waters, you know, went over our head, you know? But the wicked is out there, man, and, 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 they, and they plotted against the, against the just, the righteous. Let's go to um, Psalms, and they're going to be visited for it. Go to uh, Psalms, uh, Psalms 37. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 37. I'll start at verse 12. It says, The wicked plotted against the just and gnashed it upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he see that his day is coming. Right? He's going to be visited. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Right? It says, Their sword shall enter into the, their own heart, right? And their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. Yahweh knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. Their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. So the Lord always look out for, 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 for the righteous man. Okay? It says, uh, verse 20, it says, But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke, shall they consume away. So, uh, Going back to the title of the lesson, the wicked shall be visited and come to naught. Okay, so the, you know, you know, the wicked shall do wickedly. Okay, and <laughs> they don't have no understanding toward uh, uh, righteousness, as the scriptures say. Let the wicked be shown favor. Yet, will they still? <laughs> they they were still not. Um, as a matter of fact, let me go to that real quick. I think that's uh, Isaiah. 26 and 10, I think it is. If I could get that, I don't want to butcher it. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Isaiah 26, I believe it's 10. Con, it says, Let favor be showed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness, he will deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. So even when you show them favor, they still, <laughs> they still deal with wickedness, man. You know? Um... Let's go through some of the things um, Esau be doing, man. Uh, let's get um, 
Let's get uh, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. This They're always doing this. Okay? And that right grievousness which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. Okay, going back into history, okay, the time with Antiochus when he set a decree saying all should be one. Okay, and we couldn't keep our customs, okay, we couldn't circumcise our children, okay. They try to force us to eat swine flesh. All of these things. That's what, it was unrighteous decrees. Okay? The time with uh, Darius, or the Medes and the Persians, uh, uh, where they uh, put Daniel in the lion's den because they made a decree that no man would petition to their God in, in, in 30 days. All, they, all of those are unrighteous decrees, man. Okay? Just to give some examples. All right? But it says on um, verse 3, Isaiah 10 and 3, it says, and what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the desolation which shall come from far? To whom will ye flee for help? And where will ye leave your glory? So the wicked shall be visited and come to naught. All right. Um, let's go from there. Let's go to the book of Micah. Okay. This is uh, Micah, Micah chapter 2. Verse 1, it says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Okay? Uh, when you go to, I think, what's that? The book of Proverbs, it speaks about uh, they, they, they sleep not. They sleep not unless they cause some to fall. Okay? This man is full of, vis of, of mischief, man. Verse 2, it says, And they covered fields and take them by violence and houses. And take them away, so they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. In his heritage, verse three it says, "Therefore, thus said Yahweh, behold, against this family do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go heartily, for this time is evil. So a time will come that they're going to be visited, man, and they're going to come to naught. You see, all right." As the scriptures say, the, the, the evil shall be put out, man. All right, um, wickedness shall be put out. But um, let's let's keep going. This is uh, Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter thirty-three, and verse one, and it says, "Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou was not spoiled, and dealest treacherously." And they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. You see? And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. So all of these things that you're doing is going to fall right back upon your own head, man. Okay? The wicked shall be visited, man, and come to naught. All right? Let's go from there. And we're going to go to the book of... Uh, um, and we know the wicked is Esau, Edom, man. Okay, let's go to uh, let's go to Habakkuk, the book of Habakkuk, Habakkuk, the second chapter. We're gonna jump in here at verse four. It says, "Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Yea, also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man; neither keep it at home." Who enlarged his desire as hell, right? He always about in these people country and could never get enough. And is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gather it unto him all nations and heap it unto him all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his, how long? And to him that laid it himself with thick clay. Yeah, in big major debt. It says, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee and thou shalt be for booties unto them. Okay, so the time that's going to come that you're going to be visited, man. Because thou hast spoiled many nations 
all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and of all that dwell therein. Woe to him that coveted an evil covetousness to his house that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people and hast sinned against thy soul. Okay? For the stone shall cry out of the wall, and the beam out of the timber shall answer it. Woe to him that builded a town with blood, and establish it a city by iniquity. You see? So, you know, <laughs> people say, woe to him that builded a town with blood, man, and establish it a city by iniquity. Woe unto you. Woe means destruction, man. You see? The wicked shall be visited and shall come to naught. You see? Okay, so from, from there. We're going to go to the book of Job. Okay, so this is Job. Job chapter 20. And I'm going to read. Uh, I'll start at 4. It says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach into the clouds, it is a proud man. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which, they which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. Okay, so, yeah, at the end of the day, man. The wicked shall be visited and, and, and come to naught. Okay? Uh, we're going to go from there. We're going to go to the book of Isaiah. We're going to get Isaiah the 14th chapter. Okay? Isaiah the 14th chapter. And we're going to jump in here. At verse 4. We're getting ready to close out. But we're going to read this passage. It says, That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, and this is not talking about ancient Babylon. It's talking about the daughter of Babylon. Okay? All right? A.K.A. America. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the, and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth the world. It's like it, the whole earth is at rest and it's quieted. They break forth into singing, right? When when the time went of your of your visitation, man, because you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be brought to naught, man. It says the whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no fella is come up against us, right? Because deforestation, okay. It, Cut down all the trees, you know. Verse 9, it says, Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pump is brought down to the grave, okay? And the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread underneath thee, the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Okay? And when you go to this word Lucifer, it just means light, light bearer, the bearer of the light. Okay, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Okay, and this is going on, on the left hand side. Okay? Son of the morning, how how art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be, like it, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, right? To the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man? That made the earth to tremble, that did shake the kingdoms. It's like it that did shake kingdoms. Okay, so all oh, this man was going on within the earth. 
He's going to be visited. Okay, the wicked shall be visited and come to naught. All right, it says, verse 17, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened it not the house of the prisoner. So this man is going on with all sorts of stuff, man. Yes, wicked. You see? But um, I'm going to jump down to verse 21. It says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. Okay? So, at the end of the day, you are your father's coming back, man. So you're going to have to pay. Okay? For slavery. You know, scripture says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All these different things. You're going you're gonna to have to drink of that cup. Okay? We drink of that cup. That cup. Okay? The sons of Jacob drink of that cup. So you're going to have to drink of that cup, Esau. Okay. And um, in the end, okay, after a, a thousand years of, of slavery, because the scripture speaks about uh, you getting it double, man. You're getting that cup double. A thousand years of slavery. All right. And then you're going to be Obadiah 118. We're going to get it. We're going to end it with that. All right. So let's get Obadiah. It's the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, and verse 18. It says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. All right, so, yeah, man, uh, the wicked shall be visited and, and come to naught. So, I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, you was edified. On to the next one. Shalom.